Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Dino stream. Today we're going to continue our way through Danganronpa. Um, and just, you know, whatever. We're going to we're going to have some fun here. Uh, most of it's going to be free time. We're most likely going to make it to the next murder. And then next week we'll go through the investigation and then the stuff. I also want to bring um, some new stuff to the stream, but we shall save that for next week. Anyways, let's just get right into it. <coughs> so I wasn't expecting us <laughs> to actually get free time uh, right after we investigated. So. so with that, we shall go and... How much more do we have to do with Himiko? Two more. Okay, we need two more for Himiko, and we'll be fine. Okay, oh, that's not what I want. Okay, Himiko, Himiko. Um, not here. She's at the library. Oh, all right. Let's go to the library. Oops. I press B because of you, my Switch. Don't tease me like that. Huh? It's back to normal. Did Monokuma clean everything up? Ah, uh, true. There's no blood or anything. Uh, what is it? Should I hang out with Himiko for a while? Yeah, sure. What a pain. Nah. Everything is a pain. Leave me alone. I don't want to leave you alone, Himiko. Jeez. Don't make me so sad like that. One second. Look at this stuff. I spent some time encouraging Himiko, who's been even lazier than usual. Himiko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give? Definitely. What presents have I given you? Um, I need to give you this. You. He must have used a fine Himiko good gift spell. Hmm. Well done. I don't mind giving you, uh, mind you giving more stuff from now on. Thank you. It doesn't guarantee us an event. What? It should guarantee us an event, right? Hmm. Interesting. This is an announcement. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. It's Betty Bye time for us. You bastards. You two should sleep together in one big bed. Ah. Oh. The three of us could all sleep in one big bed, right? As close as we are, not only could we sleep in one big bed, we could sleep in triple bunk beds. Huh? But whoever's on the top bunk might fall out of their bed and die. Uh, I don't know if I if we're that close. Girls, the guys are beat up. Nighttime. I have training with Kaito. We haven't done it for a while because of the murder, but we're going to... Um... Oh, Evie, you followed me again. I'm so, I'm so happy that you followed me again. We haven't done it for a while because of, of, of the murder, but we're going to do it tonight, right? In that case, I need to go to the courtyard. I'm so glad that you followed me again, Evie. It makes me so happy. Oh, you're still up, Angie. <coughs> hmm. It looks like Kaito isn't here yet. Then suddenly, 
Oh god damn, Kaito, you are here. Yo! Hey, sorry I was late. Uh, I had trouble uh, bringing her. Bringing who? Huh? Her? Huh? Maki? Why is Maki here? Like I'd know. That's what I like to know. Someone kept um, buzzing my intercom and I got fed up so I finally opened the door. Then the guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way here. Idiot. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. If we're gonna train, we got uh, more fun with, or it's more fun with three people than two, right? What? Training? Three of us? Is that really the reason you dragged me here? This is stupid. This is stupid. I'm going back. Huh. Huh. You're calling this stupid? Listen up. Listen up. When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train, train, then train some more. What, Chloe? I asked you that like two, like almost two hours ago, and you didn't answer. If you would have answered in that time before I started streaming, I would have played. So you, now you have to wait at least an hour and a half before we play League. But I literally just started. I'm not Chloe. Stop. Um, that's uh, uh, what this thing is. It's important for a hero like me. All right. So you guys um, can be like the super dog, cat, or horse by my side to help uh, me by our uh, help me be the hero. It's not time to go, Chloe. You can wait an hour and a half now. Uh, um. Of all the examples you could have picked, oh, right already. Do you really think that crazy explanation could convince me to stay? This is stupid. This is still stupid. I'm going back. Hold up. It's not that long, Chloe. Hey, hold on a second. When I said I was um, the hero, that's just from my perspective. But you know, even super pets think of themselves as heroes. The fact that you're thinking of us as pets, super pets. It's the worst part, Kaito. Let's do it. It'll be over before you know it, Chloe. The same goes from to the both of you. If you are the heroes of your own stories. Oh, Chloe, did I tell you I got a random gifted sub? Like I was in, I was watching a random stream. I decided to watch Frost Prime, and like I was only in there for like two minutes. And then I left the stream. And then I come back to look at my notifications saying I was gifted a sub. So now I can watch. Wait, really? That's that's funny. <laughs> so act more like it. Hey. <laughs> I didn't know what you were up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. That, that is Pog. When I was watching him, he was giving a treat to his dog that was asleep, so he put the treat in front of his nose. Uh, you know this will end badly if you don't, um, so why are you being so difficult? Oh, it was super random for me, because, like, I didn't type anything. I just came in there to look and see what he was doing, and then, like, it was just, it was just hey, random. So how long are you going to run away? Huh? What? Kaito brought his face closer to Maki's. Hmm. Your mask is coming down. I could tell you. I could tell just by looking at you today. I mean, you're not the terrifying person the others think you are. I plead the fifth, Chloe. You're just a coward. Hey, so. Hey, what's your enemy? What? Huh? My enemy? Jeez. <coughs> you don't need to tell me what it is, as long as you know it yourself. Listen up. <coughs> God damn it, Chloe. Why would you look it up? How long are you going to run away 
from your enemy. Huh? Run away. Seriously? Come yeah. on. You um you've been running away. It's pretty pathetic. That's right. But if you want to stand against it even a little, huh. I'll train with you so you can be strong. What? Maki's getting angry. Kato's just provoking her. Is he going to be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. Yeah, but it's... You want to... I don't mind if we do norms, Chloe. Hey! So what are you going to do? Kaito! Hey, Kaito. It's okay, you don't have to. Okay, okay. Fine, I'll do it. Huh? Huh? You'll do it? Then... Don't get the wrong idea. He just bugs me about it, um later if I refuse. Huh. Huh. So you do get it. <sighs> now I just uh, I just upload as it is. Um I I really should do like edit and cut it out, but it's like it's just I think it's better Yeah, it, it, it would be, because just, it's just a full gameplay. I don't think it's right to cut out stuff like this for, for especially in visual novel. It kind of just ruins it. The only way to deal with idiots like him is to give up uh, and just keep nodding. What? It, you don't get it at all. Huh. Uh, whatever you just, uh, you better be get, you better get ready. I won't run back just because you're a girl. Hey. Well, what are we doing first? All right. All right. First, 100 push-ups. Yeah, you'd still you still have the inter me interacting with chat in the video. Like, if I think the only thing that I would cut. If I was doing that, it's like if I didn't like league content or other like multiplayer type content, because that stuff is better to be cut down than something like a VOD about. Hi, Chloe. All right. Hi, Chloe. <laughs> In the future. <laughs> just, just randomly, you're just gonna think, oh, I wonder if he's gonna say something about Chloe, and then it's just gonna be, hi, Chloe. So how Maki ended up joining us, and the three of us trained together. Not bad, Shuichi. You're getting better. Oh, I know you won't find it, but it's gonna be like a random video you click on, and it's gonna be like that. Hey, Kaito. No slacking today, yeah? Counting <coughs> your reps. I'm on fire today. I could easily do 50 push-ups. I thought we were doing a hundred. Hey, what about you, Maki? Hundred might be too hard for you, so. There's nothing wrong with Suichi Moting. 91, 92, 93, 94. Why would it be hard for her? I don't what? understand. That fast? Satisfied? 100. I'm done. Maki stood up and brushed the dirt from her hands and was totally composed. <laughs> exactly, that's why I'm thinking. It's like. Kaito, the only reason why you're not as fit is because you're lazy and you have eternal illness and you... No. You're done already. What? You're not even out of breath. I guess you've trained it before, huh? <sighs> Aren't you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we're really pushed ourselves. Oh well, my god. That's... But before coming here, I did some warm-ups. I already did 500 push-ups, so... Kaito, that was the best slide you could come up with. Hey. Anyway. I'm done, and you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my room. Got it. Okay, we're doing training tomorrow too. You better be there. Um, Chloe, don't don't say that kind of thing. This is this isn't that kind of game. Except for if you were here in the live stream, it kind of was that kind of game. 
Maki ignored Kaito and left without a word. Jeez. No, he didn't. Kaito never would never say that. He's the luminary of the stars. <laughs> Jeez. Why is she gotta be so difficult? Um. Hey Kaito, why did you do all this? To help her? Mm hmm? As someone's uh, weak, you help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts. As someone weak and suffering, uh, there's no way you can just leave them. Uh, um, weak and suffering, Maki. That's right. Well, in that sense, you're. Ah. No, your case is a little different. Huh? What do you mean? Shut up. <laughs> Nothing. Anyway, let's keep going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, right? <laughs> so are you. Um. Weren't you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I got here. No. Nice try, Kaito. Maybe you're the dirty one, Chloe. You ever think about that? Kaito ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. Nice, Chloe, nice. We agreed to just start over and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. Now, let me eat the voice chicken. At least let me eat that one. Ah, so tired. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards into a bed. You should be taking a shower, Mr. Suichi. You're all sweaty and icky. Hmm. Kaito brings, um, or bringing Maki. He really is crazy. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki came in the first place. Crazy ready to die. Mr. Sneaky. Kaito, you really are something. My eyelids closed as I continued talking, uh, talking to myself and eventually I drifted asleep. Curious? Curious what we modern cubs do when we're not around? I will tell you. We listen to foreign music and laugh at the funny sounding words. Oh yeah, definitely. I know that there is. When we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. <laughs> we also wear pajamas all day and lounge in the air-conditioned room. And we all go out together. They usually make me steal. See, we're all such good friends. We're always together. Except when they run away when I get caught stealing. Thank you, Mono Dam. Mono Dam has killed two Mono Cups. He's killed Mono Kid and Mono Susuke. It is now 8 a.m. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. This is an official announcement. This is an emergency announcement. Please assemble in the gym. Let's get along. Refusal to get along is ground for punishment. <laughs> oh, Monodam, you're all really obsessed with the whole getting along That's thing. Right. Friends is the only show um, is the only show he watches now. I will not forgive that. If you don't get along, I won't forgive you. I will use the exiles to peel your faces off like a Mandarin origins oh, oranges. Uh, that's so gory, but please get along, everyone. <laughs> Ah, she puked again. Oh, it's blue this time. How rare. They say anyone who sees Martafine's blue puke will have good luck. So long. Farewell. Oh, and the Monocos have now taken over. They um are the now the headmasters of the academy. Assemble in the gym, huh? I have a bad feeling about this. I do too. Alright, we go here. All 
I just want more free time. I, I did free time and I gave like Himiko uh, a thing, but she didn't, but her friendship didn't go up with me. I gave her the right thing and or the right gift and everything. And her friendship, we didn't hit an event. And I was like, what? That makes no sense. What could he possibly want? I don't even remember what happens in this part. It was the same way when we went to the library after Vitaro's class trial. All clean. You know, he's right. Yeah, it is all clean. Like, nothing ever happened. Ah, uh, man. I'm tired as fuck. I was up all night fixing that computer. Ah, you took a look at the computer on the fourth floor? What did you think? Yeah. I only started working on it, so I don't know the full specs, but that thing is pretty good. I mean, it's so intense. It just won't let me sleep. Are you jealous? Please stop. Of course not. I would never be jealous of a computer. A robot jealous of a computer? It seems just plain possible. See guys, am I, s or hey guys, am I sleepwalking or something? What's she doing here? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I'm hallucinating. After what Maki said before, there's no way she'd be here. Come on, man. Don't say something so stupid. You'll never get to know um, her better if you never talk to her. But... Maybe everyone would prefer that. Maybe everyone would prefer that this dangerous killer stays far away from us. <laughs> of course. I wouldn't prefer that at all. That's enough! You better cut it off. No, no. He's right. Murder and death have no place in a peaceful academy life. Mm. Nah. It's just like Angie said. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like Angie said. Huh? Gunta, my buddy. Everyone! Everyone, it's serious. How? Oh no. The colossal insect in the other, or is on the other side of the wall, isn't it? No, no not that. Gota went to courtyard before coming here, and it you interrupted Gunta. Um, I Gunta either dies. I think he dies in the next um, chapter. I'm pretty sure he dies in chapter four. I think it goes. Kyo, Gunta, Kaito. Those are the uh, order of the deaths. Thanks for bearing with us. Come on, what is it? Um, why do you all call us here? Out, um, call us out all of a sudden. We're the ones who called them out. Did you forget that too? For now. Let's worry about Maltaro later and present the motive now. I knew it. Yeah, not all the good characters die. So, it is a motive after all. It doesn't matter what the motive is, we will not be do- Oh, uh, we will not do the killing game anymore. That's right! Th that's, um, right. We were- Oh, uh, we aren't afraid of you- Of anything anymore. Indeed. Because we have a Tua. What? Actually. But the, it's no ordinary motive. This motive will inspire fear like never before. Fear like never before? Um. If you face a fear like never before, you will have no choice but to unite. For now, the motive that will cast you down into the depths of terror. We'll present it together! This I guess. Month, I guess. Is a, a little bit. Student. Oh. Yep. A new student is transferring, and not just any transfer student. Why do I not remember this? You get to resurrect one of the four people who've died so far. Oh. And welcome them oh. back to the academy as a now, transfer student. Now I remember this. Well. What? Uh, t transfer student. Are you serious? 
we can resurrect someone? <laughs> the instructions for the rec uh, resurrection ritual rec resurrection ritual are written in the um, Necronomicon. By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect the one deceased victim. That's right. You know, tr true. Does that mean if we use that in um, League, we can resurrect our dead enemy, our dead brains? But only one of the four will um, who have died so far will can become a transfer student. Whoever you choose, the person will consider part of the killing game semester. Ah. So technically, you can kill them again as soon as they're resurrected. You know, if you wanted to use it like that, this motive is supposed to bring them closer together. Sorry. Uh, oh, so, so, sorry, old habits and such. Hey. Oh damn, let's forgive Motoro. Uh, forgiving is what friends do, you know? That's wonderful. Marofine, you're nice, but there is more to friendship than being nice. Friends also punish each other when they do something wrong. That's why I'll have to punish Motaro. Huh? Met me? No, please no, not Monofine. I'm always mocking her when she's not looking. I don't want to be punished by her. Fine, I'll do it. So long. Farewell. It just, just gets. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this. We we're all c completely dumbfound. I feel like this academy has prepared me for absurd situations. But what I need, uh, what I just heard the most absurding, or, but what I just heard was the most absurd thing so far. Jeez. Incomprehensible. The transfer student re resurrecting the dead. Don't screw around. The don't say such stupid things. There's no way resurrecting the dead is possible. Exactly. It it, it just can't happen. Sh jeez. Who, who the fuck would believe a load of unscientific, unscientific bullshit? Listen. Why would you want to bring back Rentaro? We don't need Rentaro. Disbelief due to lack of scientific merit is simply the hubris of scientific society. This ritual, or rather resurrection ceremony, stems from funeral um, ceremonies, or funeral ceremonies that the world over. See, they are similar, yes? The act of sending the dead to the next world is a uh, sort of ritual. Though rumors and legends that ritual twisted in a way uh, to return the dead to this world. A ritual? <coughs> Like the dog, um, oh. So? Since you keep rambling about it, I'm guessing you really believe in all this stuff, huh, Keo? <laughs> what are you saying? There's no way the dead can be resurrected. Huh? What? Do you understand? Without a doubt, the souls of the dead exist, but they cannot be brought back to life. Dead flesh cannot be restored. Just as broken glass cannot be mended. Mm. So you believe in the soul, but you don't believe in the souls can be resurrected. Uh. That seems confusing, but I know if we asked, uh, this conversation would go on for uh, forever. Okay. If not even Kyo believes. Yeah, but it won't be the same, Chloe. Like, he's talking like if you... That you can't make the glass be safe because it will be disfigured when you break it, when you melt it again. It will be disfigured and not the same cup. If not even Keo believes it, then there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. So what he's saying is like, you can't bring the dead back because it, it it just won't be the same. It won't be the same person in a way I guess I've done some research on this right and if this um, idealistic degenerate can't believe it no reasonable girl would believe it either you think? hmm you think so I don't think it's strange for the dead to come back to life 
That kooky bitch is finally talking. But too bad. No one's interested in your bullshit cult. No. No, wait. Let's hear what Angie has to say. Why do you guys believe in this cult? Why do you believe in Angie? Right! <laughs> yes, Angie is free to speak. Yay! Nyah! Um, can I say it? Yay, okay, I'm gonna say it. Because <coughs> that's what Artura desires. I can't follow this conversation at all. What does Angie have to say? Uh, um... So, you believe you can revive the dead, Angie? Uh... Um, I don't think the rex uh, resurrection ritual uh, can really bring the dead back to life. But it's probably more like returning the dead to us. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Because... You know how the bodies of all victims have been cleaned up. So clean... It's like there was, um, they were never a dead body to begin with, so maybe... The truth is... They were never dead to begin with. They weren't dead? No. No, that's not possible. We inspected all the bodies ourselves. But, but... But, but... It might have been a very accurate imitation. N no. An imitation? I see. Molecule and exiles are evidence of ridiculous scientific advancements. So it may be possible for them to create extremely convincing imitations. Yeah. And that's what um, Angie say. Then it's starting. Then I'm starting to plainly agree. Mm. I've always supported Angie. Yeah. Hey, thank you, everyone. Wait. Okay, I'm trying to think here about who kills who. It actually might go. Kyo, Kaito, then Gunta. Wait! I'm trying to think. What? No, wait a minute. I saw them with my own eyes. Degenerate male! God, don't raise your voice to um, Angie. How rude, degenerate. Why? Hey, you don't want them to be alive, Soichi? You don't want them, though, you don't want the dead to be alive? It's true, but. I, I do. I do want that. I wish that there were um, they were still alive. Even now, I think that. But no matter how much we want that. But. Oh wait. If everyone's alive, then that means there's someone in the school, right? So maybe one of them write message on in courtyard. The message in courtyard. God damn it, Gunta! You're just bringing more and more questions to this game. Uh, um. Gunta, you know about the letters written in the courtyard, no. right? Yeah. But it's sort of different now. On the way here, Gunta goes see riding in courtyard. Hey! And it was more riding this time. Huh? More riding? Um. Gunta, uh, Gunta no could understand the writing. Uh, mean, but maybe. Right! Maybe a message from dead. Maybe everyone leave message for us and said, hey, we alive. I don't think so, Gunta. I don't think so. Huh? A message from everyone who died? Because mm. no one uh, here um, write it. Did they? So someone else must have write it, right? Yeah, someone did write it. I know exactly who wrote it. Rest in peace. Are you saying a dead person hiding in the building wrote that message? Okay, Chloe, why? Why? I clicked on the image. I don't know why I clicked on the image. In other words, it's a message from the dead? Oh. Wait, a message from the dead? What the f actual fuck? How do you mean? <coughs> Either way, there's nothing more divine than being reunited with a friend. It's kind of funny. As uh, she spoke, Angie picked the Necronomicon off the floor. Say. Angie, whatever you're planning to do with that. Are you actually planning to perform the ritual? Do you know it's a motive, yes? No. But perhaps it's a motive that's dangerous um, that's dangerous to ignore, rather than dangerous to use. Listen closely. 
For example, maybe the people who have died are actually alive. And if we don't perform the ritual, maybe they will be killed for certain t this time. Uh oh. Hmm. It would be po uh, it would be a problem if we allowed four potential survivors to die. Thank you. Nah. -ha -ha. Um, you're a smart. Oh, you're so smart for telling us, Gonta. You're a savior for those four people. Huh? Huh? Angie approached Gonta with her usual wise smile and. <laughs> you work so hard, Gonta. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. Nobody wants to join your cult, Angie. Even when you go berserk, you're still considerate of everyone else, aren't you? I know this because Atua is always watching you. Always watching, Gonta? Don't worry. You're not alone, Gonta. Atua is like a gentle grandmother, watching over you and keeping you safe. <laughs> Grandmas are nice. Huh? Gentle grandmother? I thought you said Atua was a handsome man. No. You know what? I can see that. She does kind of sound like Keanu. Um... Angie Zatua uh, changes his appearance depending on who's looking. Whoa. Well, that's not suspiciously convenient at all. Oh. Oh, yeah. Why don't you join our student council, Gunta? You're right. Yeah. Um, it would be reassuring if you were part of the student council, Gunta. Hmm. Hmm. You will use your power for the peace of the academy. Yeah. See how much everyone needs you, Gunta. You should definitely join. Really? You need Gonta? Got it. Okay, Gonta joins Student Cancel too. Wait! I love it. I love it. You know, just for you, Chloe, I will uh, find a video for you that just loops it for 10 hours. But wait, before all that. What exactly is the student or the student cancel? <laughs> is that why you've been acting weird? Yes. Last night, Angie summoned us uh, to discuss how we were uh, we can eradicate the killing game. You're yes, right. Chloe, I'm gonna send it to you. Me, me, Kibo, Tenko, and Tsukumi. Yes. And we arrived to the co 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 conclusion. The Ultimate Academy Student Council, with Angie Yonaga as our president. Ultimate Academy Student Council? You already do, Chloe. We've all banded together under the leadership of President Angie. Our platform is the wholesale eradication of the killing game. Yeah. Our student council promises a killing game free ultimate academy. But just look at you, Himiko. You're brainwashed. You're all brainwashed. Goddamn occultists. Huh? Or occultists, not occultists. A city council and Angie's is the president? That is scary. Yes. Yes, there we can um, be no harmony between us if we keep saying different things. Hmm. I don't know. I wouldn't want that. Oh, shut up. Hi. What? Yup, yup. Well, it's called the student council, but all the decision making is done by Atua. <laughs> How's that fair? But since Angie can speak with Atua, she's the only one worthy of leading the council. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm going to follow Angie too. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Atua is happy too. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. They've been totally brainwashed. <laughs> Angie has spread her influence before we even realize. However, but it makes sense if you think about it. This place has more um, has all the conditions for a cult to form. The fear of death that cannot be avoided. Cults are born from desire to escape that.
Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Take that back. So she's using this situation to take over the school and make us des or dependent on it to us. Please wait. Using it's a rude way to describe it. The president wants um wants peace from this school. Or for this school. I don't know why I said wrong. And we all agreed with her noble wisdom. Right. She's not retarded. Alright. Yeah, go to um not let anyone talk bad about student cancel. Why you? You literally just fucking joined them, you brainwashed idiot. But... Alright. But I'm surprised Tenko um, decided to join the student cancel. Huh? huh wh why? That's correct. I'm always down to play League, Chloe. Because you and Angie were fighting over Himiko, were you not? Who cares about that? It, I finally realized how great it too is. So? That's right. That's right. Now we're ta um, we're talking about now that or now what were we talking about again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the re resurrection ritual, right? Just leave this to the student council. It's less uh, burdensome if Vitua makes the decision. Wait. Less burdensome. Mm. That's a relief. If it too is a decision, then it's definitely the right one. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way a two would be wrong. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. A two is always right. Got a minute? Oh, so I think I know who the next person that dies, because I'm dumb. I forget how this game works. Are you guys serious? The resurrection ritual is clearly a trap. <laughs> It'll be fine as long as everyone puts aside their desire to leave. <laughs> um, I doubt they listen to anything we'd have to say. It's true that we're um, they're probably not going to listen, but you could at least help too, Kaito. What's wrong with it? It's been quiet this whole time. In the end, uh, we couldn't stop the student cancel. We left it at that and went to our separate ways. Free time. Ugh. <laughs> Transfer student, reviving the dead, Atua, student cancel. So many heavy um, cons cons conversations this morning. No. I shouldn't just sit here and complain. There has to be something I could do. I have to find something. All right, it is time. Oh, here we go. Here, okay, that's perfect. We go to Shibuko's room. It'd be happy. Okay. I tell you we decide everything from now on. That's why we don't have to worry. Sure, hang out with him, Miguel. Yeah, always, always You're hang right. out with him. Sure. The city council isn't busy right now, so I guess I can hang out. You go spend some time teaching me about becoming one with the two or something. Miguel and I grew a little closer today. Definitely. Um, what do I even give her? Cause I already give her that, so that's out of the question, or out of the picture. I don't know what else could be given to her. Jelly beans? Probably jelly beans, you know, we'll give her jelly beans. Ah. Hmm, yes, this would do. Now my MP can read it to restore. Hmm. Well, it's not enough to power a big spell. I'm trying my best, Simiko. Why won't you just love me? There's still time. Are we like at a standstill with three? Is that it? Uh, 
Okay, who do we go next? I guess we go Maki. We go Maki next. You know, here we go. We'll put you off for now. Alright, where are you, Maki? Makes me so mad. <coughs> Yo, Maki, we'll talk to you. Stop it. If you don't see you talk to me, they will mistake you as a friend of an assassin. Should I hang out with Maki? Of course, I'll hang out with you, Maki. You. And you're still fine with that? If you're putting up a front, then you'll get hurt later. I spent some time with Maki. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Would I like to give her a gift? Always. Um, what kind of gift do you think a Maki would like? Okay, not that. Definitely not that. Probably not that. What's this pig one? Oh, hello. Hello, Chloe. Welcome back. Um, I am talking to uh, Maki, and I'm trying to figure out what to give Maki. Because Himiko does not want to further our relationship for some reason. I don't know what she likes. Oh. Who we'll taking out ordinary people and single sliders? Oh, something might get to happen if we keep it. Well, you're not in this game, so, you know, calm down. Something might good might happen if we keep it. So I guess we keep it. What do we even give Mock? What does she even like? Always break on the third hit. Sure, why not? We'll give this to her. Hmm. hmm. You must not worry a lot if you're uh, giving presents in a situation like this. I kid, but what's the fun in that? Well, it's not like that, mind. I'll take it. Um. Hey, Maki? <coughs> Are you a, you're an assassin, correct? What is it? I already said it several times. Detectives really are more um, sceptical than necessary. Yeah. Well, that's part of my job. Anyway, I was wondering, how did your um, work? How did you work? I never heard a assassin working together, but she couldn't be working alone. <sighs> or who did you work? Well, I virtually that sentence so hard. Wouldn't an uh, assassination, uh, wouldn't an assassination organization disband after they became known right. or become known? That is true. So what? If you want to know my job, then I don't mind talking about it. It won't be a problem. Maki's voice was confident, but she swiftly averted her gaze. Hey. Have you heard of the Holy Salvation Society? No. No, that's the first time I've heard of it. Oh, or, yeah. Of course, a normal person uh, would have no affiliation to any, uh, to any mm. cults. A cult? Uh, what does that have to do with your assassination, so? I see. That's the assassination organization I belong to. Huh? You belong to a cult? You're a detective. Even though you're a detective, you're pretty slow. It's a new cult. Uh, from behind the scenes, it trains assassins. But... Th that sounds made up. Sure, whatever. It's real. The founder of the boss um, of the boss of the organization and all this stuff are a part, or, and all the staff is part of it. The clients ask for console, um, consolation, consolations, consultations, um, and the fee is a donation. That's how it's set up. The other believers don't matter. They're there for um, the founder. I'm not sure of the details. I can't believe it. A cult like that exists in our country? Mm. Well, it's fine. They disguise it so th 
those uh, things aren't revealed to the public. Hey. When you hear about the cold, it makes you uh, want to stay away, right? Well. well, yes, it does give off that impression. Well. Being shady like that is just a cover-up for illegal things like assassinations. As a society, the cult is pretty normal and it hasn't caused any trouble either. The boss and the staff actually don't believe in their god, but they um, haven't been punished for their sins. God really doesn't exist in this world. Her tone has neither demanding nor cold. She sounded as if she just accepted that's the way things are. Then, then I assume you're a devotee to this cult? That's wrong. Of course not. It may seem that way since I'm affiliated with the cult, but wait. Can't you figure that out without thinking? Are you sure you're a detective? That's true. I suppose she couldn't be. Well. There are several assassins behind me, but no one is devote. Uh, we don't really get along with each other anyway, so I wouldn't know. That's. So you don't share the same kind of information with each other. That's obvious. Of course not. When the time comes, assassinations, or assassins, oh gosh, will be cut and disposed of. Her tone had it changed. She just accepted it. What did I say to put her into that state of mind? So a bit dazed at Maki's incredible stories, I return to my room. Oh, it's night time, dang. Bing bong, bing. Actually. Oh, Monero is out cold from being punched by Mono Dam as punishment. So We'll be taking a break from making announcements. Mm -hmm. While Monodam and I are on break, we'll leave the rest to Daddy. Thank you, Monokuma. You balding son of a bitch. Uh, that announcement didn't mention it, but I suppose it's night time. Time to train, but is Kaito okay? Jeez, it better not be one of those occults. Those culties. And now the doorbell won't stop ringing. I suppose he's doing just fine. With the doorbell still ringing, I made my way to the door and opened it to find an Angie. Oh, it's Maki. Huh? Oh, Maki. <sighs> Kaito's resting. He says he's not feeling well, and that we should train without him. Huh? Just the two of us? Jeez. It's pretty thought thoughtless of him to bug me to train with you guys and flake out. But... Ah, uh, well, he did say he was just feeling, uh, he wasn't feeling well. No. Why are you making excuses for him? You're right. Uh, no, I, I guess you're right. Hey. Let's just get this over with. I, di I didn't come here to make small talk with you. So you're really going to do this, training with just the two of us? Thank you, Maki. Thank you for training with me. And that's how Maki and I ended up training together. Hey. What is it? Why are you training? I don't think a detective needs to do this. You know, if I if I was a detective and I needed to protect myself, you know, if I had to go fist to fist, I would want to have a little training, you know? A little muscle. Probably not, but... Overthinking things and worrying about what I need to do. When I'm with Kaito, I feel like all of that stuff just fades away. Do you look up to that idiot? Of course not. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it looking up to him. It's just that I've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive. And dumb. Kaito is that's dumb. That's exactly what I've been missing he's all this idiot. time. He's an idiot. But he's our idiot. Never realized until now how gross it is to hear men talk about being manly. Maki sprang up and said, 
Hey. 100. I'm done. Maki seemed nonchalant as she brushed off her hands. <laughs> You're really fast as usual. So what? I used to be forced to do push-ups until I passed out. 100 push-ups is nothing. Huh? What? <sighs> About Kaito. I sort of understand what you mean. That's true. But I'm a bit jealous of how carefree he is, even if he's useless. I was taught to only value the essentials. I was forced to abandon everything non-essential so they could mold me as they saw fit. Well... After everything they did to me, I sometimes wonder what am I anymore. I didn't ask to become this way, I j it just happened to me. After what I've been through, I still... Oh, am I still even human? Even Kibo acts more human than me. Because. But I had no choice but to... This is stupid. Why am I talking to you about this? You can't help but... me. Ah, but I'm kind of the same way. Well. I never once wanted to be a detective. I actually thought it wasn't a great job. Or too great a job. Uncovering people's secrets for money, it's the worst. Okay. But now, I feel completely different. If it's going to help my friends, I'll do it. And it's Kaede and Kaito that have helped me see that, um, see things that way. It should only be Kaede. Don't think about Kaito. So what? I didn't ask to hear your story. Maki's face remained totally unfazed. Uh, she turned and walked away. Maki. I'll see you tomorrow, Maki. She didn't reply and kept walking. All right. All right then. I'm still a little worried about Kaito. He seems um, off since this morning. I hope that is um, that is nothing serious. I hope it's nothing serious too. Yeah. Welcome back, Maki. You finally came. Oh God, no. No, stay away from me, Angie. Oh, God, what are you doing to her? Jeez. You know, Maki, it's not okay to walk around at night time. Why? Why? I'm not vi violating any school regulations, am I? <laughs> Monokuma's regulations don't matter. Uh... But Kirumi's crime um, happened during the night time, right? And if no, one, if no one's allowed to walk around at night time, the case wouldn't have happened. Indeed. That's not true. That's why the SUNY Council is trying to limit all nighttime activity. Well, limit. So basically, you want to take um, our freedom away from Is no that it? My. Nah. You're so odd, Maki. What's more important, freedom or a person's life? I would say freedom. Uh. Um, we need to remove all worry and doubt. So everyone can have a peaceful life here. Atua! Cause that's what Atua said. How divine! That's what Atua says. <laughs> Atua says. Yes. People are afraid of you, Maki. So we prefer if you were more careful. Mm. It's for the peace of the academy. They dumb. I want to beat you up. I want to beat them all up. What is the point of human life? They are born as useless babies who cannot do anything. And 70 years later, they are useless old people who cannot do anything. Hairless, toothless, wearing diapers, unable to take care of themselves. In the end, it's all so meaningless. Ah, Marukuma's back. It must be daytime. So that was the burning of the spit. Is it? It was a little creepy. I don't like this at well. all. I suppose I'll go to the dining hall. I suppose we'll go to the dining hall. The Sydney Council is uh, kind of scaring me. Is there like a Monokuma thing down? I don't, I don't know. Monokuma's um, little thingamajiggers have been uh, very elusive.
The moment I entered the dining hall, I heard an angry shout fill the room. Don't screw around! Qu quit messing around! Don't just do whatever you want. Hmm? But I have it to his blessing. That's right! Yeah, we have it to as a blessing. And I'll throw any degenerate who won't shut up about it. Hmm. I know you claim to be the city council or su some such, but this is going too far, yes? No. As we said before, this is all to end the killing game and keep the peace. What's going on? Yeah, Kaito, what's going on, buddy? Um. Kaito, what's wrong? What are you fighting yeah. about? These guys are doing uh, did something unbelievable. They blocked the manhole that leads to the underground. Huh? The manhole? Hmm. Going to put heavy rocks on top of manhole so no one can use it anymore. With my magic. I could have made it disappear with my magic, but I decided to let Goto handle it this time. Um. Why would you do that? Because. Because the manhole is a reminder of your desire to leave this place. We do not want other tragedies to happen again, like what happened to Kaede. Listen up! You said it, Andy. We need to forget about that underground tunnel and start fresh. Don't screw around! Damn it! She just um, does whatever she wants without even asking our opinion. Certainly. I certainly. It certainly is important to hear everyone's opinion. But if we did, nothing would get done. You're right! That's why we just decided to obey the Sunni Council president. If it's Angie, then she'll make the right decision. She can hear Atua after all. Come on, kill Atua. Man, she's a lost cause. Plain Janes like her are total, um, are total rubes uh, when it comes to the cults. Thank you. Sugumi, so, thank you for your fantastic speech. I was truly moved by it. Were you? Oh God. <laughs> Thank you for always supporting me. Atua smiled on you for your plain and simple service. I've been wondering, does Atua have red eyes and hair as black as night? Atua has whatever features you desire. A red-eyed, black-haired god. Oh, what a cool god I have watching me. So edgy. When can I meet him? I want to meet him as soon as possible. Atua exists beyond time itself. But I'm certain you will feel his presence very soon. Precious! So cool. A two is just so cool. Hmm. Ghosts like these can be really annoying if you get on their bad side. But, but... But, but, why are you guys so mad over the manhole being covered? The truth is... Is it because you guys want, or want to use it to escape? You still haven't given up on leaving yeah. here? You haven't given up? You haven't given up? Huh? Well, what the hell's wrong with you guys? See. The student council cannot ignore that. It seems we must tighten our control. What? Tighten? Are you calling me loose? That reminds me. You were in the computer room past nighttime yesterday, weren't you, Mew? What? Huh? So, so what if I was? By the way. So Maki. So was Maki. She didn't go back to the room until way past night time. Hey. Soichi, you too, right? Uh, okay. Y yeah. Huh? Jeez, this isn't good. If your life is in uh, disarray, your mind and body will be too. Cause Atua says so. Atua is right. You must. F uh, we must forbid everyone but the student cancel from walking at night time. I don't think that's fair. Huh? What? Stop it! <laughs> well, what? What I do and where I do is none of your fucking business. No? No, as long as everyone still wants to leave, this is not acceptable. However... Why is the city council exempt from their your rules? It is blatantly unfair, yes? Uh... Nah! I'm uh, not worried about the city council. They don't want to leave anymore. <laughs> That's right. Why would I need to go outside anyway? Here we have food, clothing, shelter, wonderful friends, and best of all, a Tua. What else do you need? It's not good, um, it's not good to be greedy, you know? <laughs> everyone is, um, everyone in the city council is so divine. Always messing around. D 
Don't be stupid. Are y'all telling me to just stay here and do nothing? That's enough! Like hell I will. Well, I haven't even gone to space yet. Ah, you're back, you my funny buddies. Are you all fighting? I, I don't think so. I think maybe they're not actually fighting. That's right. Yeah, yeah, and even if they were fighting, it looks like a friendly one. Huh. What are you here for? We're busy right you now. Bastards. We want you to get even closer with each other. That's wonderful. We bought you this, oh. a flashback light. It's a part of our, um, use the flashback light to restore a new memory and become better friends by talking about it with each other plan. Well, I've stuffed way too many blows, uh, or I suffered way too many blows to the head to remember the plan name that long. Mm -hmm. Ah, let me see that. Uh, is she gonna smash it? Suddenly Angie grabbed the flashback light from his, his hands and... Oh God. She threw it on the ground and stomped it on, or stomped on it relentlessly. Oh, poor Mono Dam. Uh -huh. The student council has decided that we will not use flashback lights anymore. What? Why? Because the flashback lights only restore our memories of the outside world. But we don't need those memories anymore. We realize now that we don't belong in the outside world. We belong here. At the Ultimate Academy. I don't know about that word. <laughs> uh, uh, oh no, if you don't use the flashback light, our plan is a buzz. Well, what are we gonna do, Mario Dam? Oh, Mario Dam is sad ah. now. He, he ran away, he ran away. Hey, Mario Dam, wait! So long, farewell. Fired Aura! Wait! Uh, Angie, what are you doing? Oh dear. We could have remembered something about the funeral or the ultimate That's hunt. Not right! There's no reason to remember all that. We're not returning to the outside world. Right! Yeah, it's pointless now. Always messing around. But why you? You've gone way too far. Even if you want to stop the killing game, you're going way too Sorry. far. Sorry, but you should take up um, what a Tua. Oh, or you should get up a Tua. Jeez. I don't think you're sorry at all. Do you know what, um... So, do you have a plan for you know what? Ah. Oh, you mean the resurrection trail? Oh, we have a plan for that. What? Wh what? I knew it. What are you planning? Yes. It's a necessary precaution. The more friends we have, the more um, fulfilling our lives will be. Huh? Uh, necessary precaution? Uh. Um... What if we get uh, another item uh, motive, like the one that uh, got Rintara killed? Oh, yeah. Shouldn't we have a sacrifice prepared just in case? Uh, um, you mean if someone has to die, we should volunteer someone we resurrected? You're going to resurrect someone just to kill them all over again? <laughs> you have some cruel plans for someone who wants to stop the killing game. Uh, Life cannot always be fun, it smiles. A team must make difficult, even cruel decisions. But, but... But, but... We must uh, submit to Atua's will if we want to live a peaceful school yes. life. <coughs> Atua will be... Uh, Atua's will is absolute. Yeah. If Atua says so, then there's no reason we can... Uh, there's no... Or there's nothing we can do about it. Mm -hmm. now, it's just like Atua says. What? Are you serious about this? Did you forget that thing's a motive for the killing game? Kaito, what's going on with you? You look worse and worse. Yep, yep. The motive is of no concern to us, as long as you can set aside your desire to escape. Well, you know. By the way, who are you going to resurrect? What? What kind of stupid question is that? Uh... Hmm. After discussing the matters with the two of the champion's tunic, we will revive is so. Rantaro Amami. Huh? Rantaro? Because. Well, 
We simply cannot resurrect um, convicted murderers such as Kaede and Kirumi. No criminals like Ryoma, who violated the rule against uh, sharing one's motives with a video. Which leaves Rentaro, the only one who would be of use to the student cancel. True, Rentaro was the only one who knew about the ultimate hunt. They're going to bring him back? Hey, I have a question for you. This might sound a little weird, but oh, we already, we already know this. No, no, this is impossible. That's not going to happen. He's dead. Kaede killed him. Dear, dear. Oh my, it's already so late. I need to get going now. Rare time. I must prepare to Atua and begin preparations for the ritual. Mm -hmm. Nah, you're right. It's time to pray to handsome Atua. Well, well then, let's go. <laughs> Bye, Anara. With Angie leading them, the student council strolled out of the room. What is it? She acts like she's carrying out Atua's will, but this is her will, isn't it? However... Even so, we cannot defy her right now. Extreme faith is frightening indeed. Hey! Then it's all-out war against the student council, six versus six. We can win this! <coughs> <laughs> also, we have an assassin on our side. Let's have her kill them nice and quick. No. I uh, know. We'll resolve this peacefully. Sure, that'd be great. But I don't hear anyone coming up with a plan to end this peacefully. By the way, what about you, Kaito? You've been quiet this whole time. I bet you have some great ideas. Huh? Huh? You say something? No. Oh, oh, oh! Someone was zoning out. Kaito, something doesn't seem right. Something doesn't seem right with Kaito. We need to save. It's been a little bit since we saved. And I think this is where we'll end today's stream. Yeah, this will be for every place to end today's stream. Um, so, to, so not tomorrow. Well, maybe tomorrow. I might stream a little bit tomorrow. To get this. But next week, we'll definitely go through... Um, the rest of chapter 3, and then probably part way through chapter 4, and then I got something planned for Friday, next Friday, um, for something a little bit better to do than just play Danganronpa the entire time I was like stream. But anyways, thank you all for coming out today, I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream, thank you for the follows and now for all this stuff, um, as always, this is Ronald Down, see you in the next stream.